Hi guys, my name is Shubhang Garodia, Chemistry Master Teacher at Vedantu. Today we are going to talk about JE Advanced 2022, Paper 1, Chemistry 1, Section 1 that had 8 numeric questions. Out of that we are going to discuss the second one. Now, the question says, we have to calculate this electrode potential, that's MnO4 minus, right, going to manganese. That is this reaction. MnO4 minus takes up 7 electron goes to manganese and we are supposed to find the electrode potential here. We have been given other 3 reactions. In the first case, permanganate goes to MnO2. Second case, MnO2 goes to Mn2 plus. The third case, Mn2 plus goes to Mn0. All the voltage data has been given to us. So, one, the moment you see the question, you immediately jump to the conclusion that E4 naught should simply be written as sum of EI naughts where I varies from 1 to 3 and our job is done. No, that will give you an incorrect answer. Why so? Because the target reaction is a half cell. When the target reaction is a half cell, we have to go by the delta G way, by the extensive property way. So we can clearly see that if you add these three reactions, the terms get cancelled out and you get your final reaction. So delta G4 naught will simply be equal to sum of delta G1 naught, delta G2 naught and delta G3 naught. We know that delta G naught can be written as minus N F E naught, where N is the number of electron transferred. <clears throat> so target reaction is 7 electrons, then 3, then 2, then 2. But please mind you, there's a minus sign here. The moment you plug it in the values, very simple calculation, you land up with your final answer. Thank you so much for joining guys and stay tuned for our next question.